While you've been playing Remnant 2, there's a chance that you've came across this clock tower. If you've traveled all the way to the top of it, you're going to notice this item here. And it's a secret that you've got to solve to get the item. In this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly how to complete this secret. Hey, what's up everyone? Before we do get into this, if you do enjoy today's video and find it helpful, please give it a like and a share to support it, and also subscribe for more content. First, I just want to show you exactly where you can find this clock tower. It's going to be on the Lossom world, and I think the easiest way to find it is if you get the Morrow Parish start. Different start points are the different storylines of Lossom. There's two in total. The other start point is the Palace Courtyard. And although I'm pretty sure you can still find the clock tower with the palace courtyard start, I know that I find it quite a lot on the Morrow Parish start. So if you don't get this when you're playing through your campaign, once you've completed Lossum, you can re-roll in adventure mode until you get it. What you are looking for is a clock tower. You can see the map here of Morrow Parish where I started. It's quite distinctive on the map because you can see the item here. If you look in the top right corner, you can see that there's a sort of item, it's greyed out, and there's a lift that doesn't work in the bottom. Once you've got to this area, you're at the puzzle location, and we can start solving it. Inside the tower, there's no way to climb up. You might find some other loot in here, so have a look. But if you head back outside, what you'll find is some steps going up, or some ledges that you can climb. In fact, it's a ladder. Just make your way to the ladder and start climbing and this is how you're going to traverse this clock tower you need to make it all the way to the top and you will be heading back into the clock tower to continue at times as you head back in just jump out the window the opposite end of the room and you can continue climbing again with more ladders there will be some enemies on the way up so just be mindful of that and take them out as you see them and just keep on making your way up top there'll be more ladders and more ledges Eventually, you'll get to a point where you can't climb no more outside. You'll have to head back through a window inside. In this room here, there will be some more enemies up above that will make their way down. Just be careful of them and take them out. You'll want to jump across this gap to go through this doorway here to the other side of the room, where you'll find this other window that takes you back outside. It puts you the other side of the clock tower, and this side of the clock tower has a ladder to take you up further. You're nearly at the very top now. As you enter back inside the clock tower, you're going to see some steps. Just go up these steps. There'll be some more steps to go up again. And you'll come across this gap here. Just be careful. And there is this letter you can read. I'm not sure if this holds any clues or anything. But you can have a read of that if you want. But more importantly, you just want to make your way around here. And just walk around the lift. And there's going to be another ladder taking you further up. Once up that ladder, right in front of you is another ladder. And then you'll find another letter as well. So have a read of that if you want to. But then you need to head up the next ladder in the other room. This will finally bring you to the top of the clock tower. We can see the clock tower mechanism here. If we interact with it, there's an item that it needs, which we haven't got yet. We've got this safe here. And if we look at the clock face, we can see this item. This item is unobtainable right now, and what we must do is find a gear that we can interact with the mechanism with. The gear isn't here, though. There's more to the puzzle to do. We've actually got to leave the area, but before we do, make sure you flick this switch, because this is going to make the lift work. We can now use this lever to use the lift, and there's also a lever at the very bottom to use it also, so when we come back here later, we don't need to climb it again. As you leave the clock tower you need to make note of what time is on there so we switch the power on so when we're outside the clock tower we can actually see what time it is and i'm not sure if this is the same for everybody uh, what you want to take note of when you look at your clock though is where the hour hand is because the hour hand is quite easy to figure out when we get to the clock puzzle in that district and then you can just move the minutes until you get it right what you must do now is explore Morrow Parish, and we're looking for a specific dungeon. The dungeon is called Lamarck District, and I believe if you've got the clock tower, then this should definitely be a dungeon on your map, because if it's not, you've got to re-roll the world and do it all again to hopefully then get Lamarck District. And the reason for that is because there's a room in this district that's full of clocks. 
Here's the map on screen now of the district. You can see the entrance there and where I'm stood. It's a very small area. So just progress through here until you get to this room. Where there's a load of clocks in it. There's another letter on the table if you want to read it. There's a chest that you can loot as well. But what we are interested in is this big clock at the end that we can interact with. So going back to the clock now, I could tell that my hour hand was at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to move that hour hand all the way over to 11. And then the minute hand was around about quarter past. So what I'm going to do is just move the minute hand, which moves by the minute, and just keep on pressing enter until I get it right. And it was just past the quarter past mark. Once you get the same time as what was on the clock tower, it's going to drop this clockwork pinion out for you. And now we can head back to the clock tower. As long as you did switch the power on, this lift is going to be working now, so we don't need to climb it all again. We can just enter the lift to take us all the way to the top. And then at the top, just interact with the mechanism again and use the cog that you just found, and that's going to fix it. With the mechanism fixed, you're going to notice this lever that you need to pull. So just interact with this lever here. And this is going to raise these bags to the left there, revealing the gap in the wall, but also getting the clock working. As the minute hand moves, that item that you can see is going to drop, and you'll be able to collect it from the hole in the wall. And what you get is the broken timepiece and objective success. This is what the timepiece looks like, and although the puzzle is complete, there's a little bit more to it, and you want to head back to Ward 13. At Ward 13, head over to Ava, who's going to have a new item that she can craft for you. And this item is the Time Lapse Mod. It creates a 6 meter blast, which freezes all standard enemies for 7 seconds. Once you deal damage to them, the frozen enemies immediately break the Time Lapse effect, but it applies slow then for the remaining duration. It costs a broken timepiece that you just found, some Luminite Crystal, and Scrap. And that is it for this video. That covers the clock tower puzzle in full. I do hope it's been helpful. Make sure you give it a like and a share if it has been. Subscribe for more. And I also have a Remnant 2 playlist down in the video description covering all sorts of Remnant 2 content, including more puzzles and secrets. So go and check it out. Until next time, thank you for watching this one. Stay safe and peace out.